in this industry is all about big fish take little fish. Like these dudes in the industry would try to leverage their relationships to get you out the paint. It happened to me personally. Like Vlad TV came messing with me, and when I stood up for myself, he called Adam from No Jumper and tried to get me fired. So I experienced firsthand how these industry dudes would try to violate and get you out the paint. And Cardi B just did that with Tasha K. See, it all started when Joe Budden criticized Cardi B's new song with Megan Thee Stallion, Bangas. The, the hook is not hooking for me. It's not catchy. It's not particularly it's catchy. Not, there's, nothing, there's nothing in it to make it stay. One. And two, I know y'all think Sexy Red is paying me. She's not. But this commercialized ratchet has passed. <sighs> it's ghetto ratchet time. And neither one of them are ghetto ratchet on this song. I think they both have potential to beat. And Cardi normally smokes ghetto ratchet, but she's too big. That's why she got to go get with K-Flock. That's why she got to go get with some of this. She's too big to do it. We need a Bodak yellow now. Both of these women, this sounds like this is two women who can't make a song. Facts. Like, absolutely facts. Joe was spitting and left no facts out. This assessment was 100% accurate. The audience then switched their attention to this authentic ratchet. This gentrified ratchet and a wannabe classy and overproduced ratchet is no longer cool and popping. As a matter of fact, Cardi B only had success in the last two years when she hopped on an authentically ratchet track and was ratchet and hood. All this other ish ain't working, right? Now, I don't see how anybody could have a problem with what Joe had to say. I don't even think Cardi B had a problem with, with, with what Joe had to say. But Cardi B used, I guess, the opportunity of Joe criticizing her to then take the social media and put pressure on Joe not to work with Tasha K. I just feel like it's like he he has an issue with me, and it's and it was beyond the critiques of Bongos. It's just like you're inviting bitches that said the root is nastiest shit, but when uh, what's them niggas name they used to do podcast with? Oh, um, Maul. Ma, ma, yeah, Maul um, and the little other guy. Yeah, when Ma and Rory say we fuck shit about you or lies about you, you get so defensive. You want to clear it up. You came at Tax Stone because Tax Stone says something about you. You want to clear it up. And, you know, you expect people to understand you and you you expect people to take your side. But um, I, I had to go to court. I had to go to court because this woman, like, it's, it's beyond saying that I have herpes, right? Like, come on now. Like, it's beyond saying I have right. herpes. Like, this woman tried to run a, a, a I drug men campaign. Even if Tasha K was 100% in the wrong, which facts are, she probably was, right, since she was found liable in court. But even if she's 100% wrong, why do you feel entitled to Joe Budden platform? Why do you feel entitled to tell Joe Budden who he can interview? So your logic is that nobody in media should be able to interview Tasha K because y'all two got personal issues? How, like, how, like, 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 how does that make sense? Yo, these, like, like, these artists, because they got some type of notoriety or success or because, you know, they have some type of social hierarchy in this game, they feel as if they're entitled to tell you who you can interview and who you can't. What's even more disturbing to me, though, is Joe Budden came on his podcast and was asking his co-host, who was present when Tasha K was there when he interviewed her? He's asking his co-host, yo, did I do anything wrong by interviewing Tasha K? Like, what's y'all opinion? And this is why I always stress, yo, we have to have peer content creators or peer creators in these positions. Because dudes who only objective and mission in life is to climb the ladder of the social hierarchy, they shouldn't be in positions as content creators, right? Because when Joe asks his co-host, did I do anything wrong? I was expecting to hear, nah, of course not. We content creators. Filming broke content over everything. I was not expecting for grown men who call themselves content creators to be buck dancing, shucking and jobbing for Cardi B so they can maintain or they can secure their relationship with her just in case she's watching. Adding it all together, it could paint. So the after picture. listening to her, I did want to come in, I do want to come in here and ask y'all, like, am I wrong for that Tasha K interview? What's your relationship with Cardi? What is my relationship with Cardi? What do you mean? Where do you have a respectful and cordial with one? Nah, another? y'all bigger than that. You, you, nah, you're not You champion that. Cardi, but that's yeah. that is no, different I'm from not, a relationship. No, no. I'm talking about no I know. Yeah. I'm just saying. But you've known Cardi pre-success. I think that when when if you look at it from 
yo, this particular person was trying to destroy my image, my reputation, my every my brand, mm -hmm. how I feed my kids, and then you supposed to be my homeboy, and you came and had them sit on your couch. With without, the size of your without, platform? Without a conversation. Cardi B and Joe Budden are not homeboys or homegirls. Cardi B did an interview with Joe early on in her career, and they stayed cordial. Like, that's not a homeboy or a homegirl. And that certainly doesn't obligate you to call Cardi B and ask for her permission to interview Tasha K. That right there is insane. But Ish will have that opinion. Again, I respect Ish. I love Ish. I love his perspective. But Ish will have that opinion because Ish objective and those other guys' objective is to cozy up to anybody that can push forward their career. They got no interest in objectivity or keeping a content pure. Right, they will say whatever and support whoever that can push for their career, and it's sickening to me. And it looks like Joe fell for it as well because even Joe said, "Yo, I understand where you're coming from. Y'all are right. Not no, that's permission, not permission, but normally, you can still do it. Normally, you can still do got it. it. Normally, you burn a bridge with the celebrity, and the celebrity lets you know that you're burning said bridge. Normally, when people have to make the choice, they roll with not." burning the bridge I don't, not every, I don't necessarily I've never looked at any of these people as bridges but listening to y'all like I think there's a valid point there I didn't like when uh, uh, an interview happened on my birthday somebody I thought we had some type of um, common respect these guys essentially convinced Joe not to drop the Tasha K interview because there's been no conversation since about when the Tasha K interview is coming out so Tasha K hopped on her IG and decided to speak out against Joe essentially nerfing her interview and putting it on the shelf because of Cardi B. Don't give a shit if Joe Button dropped that interview or not. I don't give two motherfucking shits. Do you know how many interviews I've done that I have not dropped because I don't want to? I don't give a shit who he friends with. I don't give a shit what the fuck he does with his platform because ain't nobody going to tell me nothing. But what I can say Okay? Is that Joe is industry. I'm not. And that's what the debate was between both of us. Like, he has a compassion and a certain empathy based off relationships that he has and that he probably needs in order to keep his platform growing. We did all of this, what we're doing, without being industry. Joe doesn't do what I do. He relies very much on industry relationships to bring y'all premium content. I would disagree because despite Joe Budden being a really flawed human being, the one thing we can take away from Joe Budden is he's elite on this mic. When it comes to this mic and podcasting, Joe Budden is elite. So I don't think Joe Budden needs the industry to create premium content. But Joe Budden is indeed industry. And that's one of the things, right? Because Joe Budden is a former rapper or a retired rapper. He does have relationships he want to maintain and preserve, which to me is a bad look for Joe, right? And this is why I'm vehemently against these industry dudes hopping into podcasting, right? Because if you're a podcaster, your obligation is to meet. Meaning like people like myself who pay for your Patreon, who support you, who keep your lights on, you should have a bigger obligation to us, your audience, than to the industry. And with Joe, he has a bigger obligation to the industry than to the audience. Because we want the Tasha K interview. He's not going to put it out because of his industry ties. I rely on severing relationships to bring y'all premium content. Two very opposite ends of the spectrum. And that's on that. So whether he decides to drop it or not, I can care less. It's going to be more interviews that are going to be great. Some things are not meant to be, to be out. You never know why. Maybe there's some underlying power that's just saying, Joe, don't drop it. Maybe it looks like it's for this, but it's really for this. Because there was a lot of shit in that interview where he himself was like, oh, my God. Because it was a conversation that came up. This is such a bad look for Joe Budden, because how do I take Joe seriously now? How do I value Joe's opinion when I know that Joe's opinion can be bought? When I know that Joe's opinion is contingent on whatever industry relationship he's trying to preserve at that moment. Because Tasha K is saying during that interview, she got Joe to concede a couple of things that made Cardi B look a certain way. And because Joe don't want to piss off Cardi B any longer, he's hiding the interview. And I don't even think it's Cardi B specifically. 
or just her, I should say, because she is involved. Maybe it's, it's Atlantic. Maybe it's the power brokers is contacting Joe and putting that pressure on Joe. Tasha K does reveal, though, a specific back and forth she had with Joe that can maybe explain why Joe don't want to release the interview. Because my thing is, like, there are men that, don't, that claim they don't see the things that are being done by certain people on the internet, namely women who use a means of sympathy and they play the victim role a lot. But when the man becomes a victim of that same woman, now it's when us, they, it's now, it's, it's now that they want us to see that they are a victim of the same person we were a victim of. But that person could do no wrong. Read in between the lines. I don't need to say no names. But all I'm saying is what I told him. I said, do you remember there was a certain person that hit the internet about you and said that you kicked a baby out of her stomach and you broke her ribs? But no, not even you. Nobody saw past the, the, the big ass and the titties and the light skin. But the moment that beautiful voluptuous woman starts to make allegations about you now you see what we see <laughs> now i can understand why joe don't want to put that interview out but tasha k is 100 percent right right is we would overlook character flaws if she's light-skinned got a big booty and she's attractive right we would overlook the character flaws and counter their defense even though we know they're dead ass wrong do i think that applies in a cardi b and tasha k situation Probably not, because Tasha K went to court and got held liable, right? Tasha K was, you know, went to court and it was discovered and proven, right, that she lied on Cardi B. So I don't think this even applies with Cardi B and Tasha K. My only thing is Joe Budden should be content over everything, but he's not content over everything. Joe can be bought, and we just learned that today. While you guys are here, though, man, click on the link somewhere on my screen to find out why Nicki Minaj just sent a really scary threat to Cardi B for doing this to her child. I'm gonna see you guys in this video somewhere on my screen, all right? I'm out of here, folks. Peace.